Hello, Mark Sutter with HurricaneTrack.com here with your Hurricane Pro and HD video blog for September 22nd, 2017. Happy Friday to you. Before we head into the weekend, let's take a look at what's happening here with Jose, which is right here, and Maria, which is down here. And then over here off the corner is Lee, believe it or not, making a comeback, a special return appearance briefly. Uh, Lee is not going to amount to anything to speak of, and it'll be out over the open water, but it's interesting that it has come and gone, come and gone, now it's back again. Um, this is the leftover circulation of Jose. Now just basically low clouds, a few mid-level clouds, just a little bit of thunderstorm activity trying to develop there, and it'll just kind of dwindle away. And the faster it does so will influence what happens here with Maria as it comes up and tries to at least maybe approach the Outer Banks of North Carolina up here, possibly. That's still several days away, so we have a lot to watch between now and then. We can look at Maria from a different satellite perspective here, and you can see it's trying to develop a little bit more organized convection around the eye. Some southwesterly shear hitting it, though, and that's keeping it from really boosting itself uh, for the time being. Category 3 now, it won't surprise me if at some point over the next 24 to 48 hours it becomes a Category 4 again, but then it should weaken after that as upper level winds will be stronger and the water temperatures up here will be a little bit cooler because of Jose and just the overall atmosphere not quite as supportive fortunately as what we saw here over the Caribbean where it was a lethal unbelievable category five the second one of course following Irma just several days prior so here's the five o'clock advisory package forecast track for Maria kind of wiggles and wobbles its way up here I suspect overall that this whole thing will sort of shift to the west, especially at days three, four, and five. And I think the cone of uncertainty will come in a little bit farther to the west over time. The models are indicating that slowly but surely. Now they can certainly also maybe trend more to the east with time if there is less ridging out here over the Atlantic and it fails to connect over the top, so to speak. There's just a lot of different moving parts with this system. Jose up there off the New England coastline with its influence. And there's some upper level energy over the southwest part of the Atlantic Basin in the southeast United States. All kinds of different moving parts here that have to come together. And we're trying to figure it out with model guidance. And uh, sometimes that's hard to do. The, year, uh, the European, the Euro from the 12Z run today. This is hour number 96, four days out. And you can see where Maria is right here in the ridge of high pressure trying to build back over the top but just not very strong. I mean, if this reconnects like this, then Maria is going to come up and turn back closer to the North Carolina coast. And that's kind of what we're looking, not looking for in terms of we hope it happens, but that's what we're looking to see if it happens that that would steer it more towards the north and west. Okay, so that's the idea. This is sort of see how this evolves over time. If we compare the 96-hour forecast from the Euro, to that of the GFS. They're pretty similar to each other as you can see there. But then at day five here, this is the Euro. So there's day four Euro, day five Euro. Now let's look at day five GFS and you can see it is, you know, a pretty good jog off to the northwest of where the Euro has it, uh, closer to the North Carolina Outer Banks. And any further adjustments, even another degree or two over the next five days of longitude, and remember those are the north-south lines, on the map. This isn't exactly where they are, but I'm just saying if this were to be over just a little bit more and it's still moving northwest or even northward at that time, it's possible that we could get hurricane conditions on the North Carolina Outer Banks and maybe even the Virginia Capes. Okay, so it's not completely out of the realm of possibility. And it's even mentioned in the forecast discussion that we could see some impacts for the United States. And that is mentioned right here in the key point number three or key messages as they call it. Maria will move between the east coast of the United States and Bermuda by the middle of next week, but it is too soon to determine what, if any, direct impacts there might be in these areas. So it's not a done deal, so to speak, that Maria will not impact the east coast of the U.S. in some form or fashion. And it's even mentioned here in the discussion uh, about the track, that the new track models, this is from earlier today, shifted significantly westward on this cycle and in fact it left the interpolated version of the official forecast way over on the east side of the guidance envelope meaning 
All the new guidance was over to the west. So it, it looks like some changes are occurring that you folks on the Outer Banks of North Carolina, the Virginia Capes, especially want to keep an eye on this. And you remember, we're not talking about the eye going over specifically. You know, it could be 40 miles offshore and you could get some hurricane force winds, some surge, some overwash, heavy rain, you know, direct impacts. That's what we're talking about here. And, you know, if it makes landfall, well, it could do that too. Small chance, but with it being still five days away minimum, we really have to keep watching this. All right? The rest of the tropics, for the most part, still calm at the moment, but we do see signs as we head into October. That's a ways away. But, you know, with the advanced forecasting technology that's out there, uh, understanding the upward motion of the atmosphere where the air is going to rise more than it sinks, and the climatology where we'd expect to look this time of year, all that indicates that the Western Caribbean, by about days 10 through 15, will be the area to watch after we are finished with Maria. But Maria still has several days left on the maps, and we want to make sure we stay focused on that. All right, that's all I've got for this evening. Again, I am Mark Sutter for HurricaneTrack.com, and of course for Hurricane Pro and HD. You guys have a great rest of your Friday. I'll have more coverage for you throughout the weekend.